Okay, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm JimmyGGS91 here and be welcome again to my let's play of Donkey Kong Country 2 GD's Conquest. So yeah, on the last video we like finished the game but not completely, so now we are about to tackle the remaining levels and do uh, what we have to do to finish this game properly to reach 102%. So let's restart the game by the save point and as you can see here all the areas, the regular areas of the crocodile island are complete so we are have nothing to do here only the so called lost words by now and the first large lost word entrance is on the crocodile cauldron the second area of the game right at Clubas kiosk so let's go to there Scurvy chimps, ahoy! Come on, you yellow bellies! Run across Clubber's Bridge without pain, I dare you! <laughs> There's the gold barrel, the passageway to the lost world of the Kremlings. Just to, for fancies, I'll show what happens when you try to fight Clubber, <laughs> the Moscow uh, Kremlin here. He just hit you with his claw, his club. Yeah, that's no way to pass through him without pain or bribing him. Alright, so let's pay this guy up, and as I told you, we have 5 entrants at all to visit at each area of this game. And this is the first one, so we'll pay 15 Kren coins. Here's Gary, if any trouble, Kluba here will help you out. Now he's trying to help us instead of hit us, that's cool. Anyway folks, here's the lost world. Here, I really like the looking of this place, especially the crocodile head in the middle of that lake and that energy beam right in the center and also the music here is very cool it's called the lost word anthem yeah pretty cool song anyway let's do a visit to the old monkey and see what uh, cranky has to tell to us about this world well 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 if it isn't our trainee hero i didn't expect you to find this place sunny must have got lucky. Now that you're here, I better tell you about it. This here is the Kremlin's lost world, and that big crocodile head in the middle is where you need to get to if you were is where you need to get where you need to get if you were going to finish this game properly. But to get there, have to beat Captain K. Roll and complete all the bonus levels as well as tech I'm sure is well beyond a weapon sniper like you. <laughs> I already did that. I don't know why I'm doing this, but here are some ridiculously ridiculously cheap hints for this word, which I'm sure you're admitting me as well. What's happening with my English today? <laughs> I'm completely messed up. Uh, most than usual. Okay, so we have all the five levels that we have to complete here. And but as you already know, we don't know these tips because I want to show you what's needed to complete these levels. We will not uh, need the help of old my old Moki cranky here. So let's leave the museum. And then let's start with the first level that is called Jungle Jigs. Uh, like I said you before as well, uh, there is only one level per area of the game here of the Lost World. I'm saying. So once you complete this level, we'll get back to the regular area and then fly to the other areas and then complete the other levels. That's how it works. All right, so let's start with the first level of the Lost World, folks. Call it Jungle Jinx. And this level is very cool, it really looks like the jungles of the first Donkey Kong game. And also the song is pretty cool, it's called Primal Rave. A very very catchy song and really fits a jungle level. Alright, let's start. And the thing with this level is those bouncing tires. You have to bounce on them to pass through some areas, but don't... But don't be crushed by those things because they can crush you or you can miss a jump very easily. Like I said, the step up on difficulty on those Lost World levels are very high compared to the regular levels. Okay, I want those bananas over there. Let's sing it. Now here I prefer to glide with Dixie to get the banana coin. Avoid the Cutlass. Now we have some Spinies to kill. Okay. That tire is damn dangerous. He can crush you easily. Now if you are greedy enough, there is a banana coin over this bee. I want to get it. 
Yeah, that's pretty risky to do. Don't only do that if you're really greedy. If not, just skip it. Actually, this level is not that hard once you get the hang of it, but it's very hard compared to the regular levels. Okay, when we reach this place here with the flitter, see the O here on the left? That O leads to something. Let's do a cartwheel jump, or we can just glide with Dixie to access the bonus barrels. There is a destroying them all on, have to use the chain throw to kill all the flitters, without touching the zingas, of course. But what's funny about those bonus levels on the Lost World is that instead of crank coins, they give you DK coins. So yes, there's only one bonus per level on the Lost World levels. To get all the banana coins, to get all the DK coins instead, sorry. Okay, now this part is tricky, it's all a matter of timing. But it's funny to bounce out of these tires, and those tires kind of uh, resembles me, or some kind of tribute, of the first Donkey Kong Country game, where you had the tons of tires to bounce. <laughs> okay, now in this part we have Dixie, I prefer to glide uh, through this B. To reach this part, of course, I won't make it. Okay. Now if we're greedy enough again, we can get banana coin over there, or you can bounce at this tire, it's up to you, but it's damn risky. Okay, now here I can get a banana coin over there. It's a matter of timing once again. Okay, so clump on to kill. And that's it, that's the end of the level, let's kill this clubber. To use him to dispose of this bee. And then get the G. Alright, that was the first level of the Lost World. It's not that hard yet. Well, as you can see, it's fully complete and no other level opens before uh, after you finish the level. So yeah, we have to go back to the regular area. And I think for only on these last two videos of this Let's Play, we use Funky's Flight Services to go to the other worlds. Because if you want to go to the uh, other area without using uh, funky service, you have to fight the boss again. And that's not necessary, at least for me. So it was his services, only two banana coins, it's a cheap price. So let's go to Krenkway Klebas Kiosk, over here. Okay, let's pay him up again. But here comes the Kremlin Lost World of Wait Here. Okay, so let's go to the next level, that is called Black Ice Battle. I like this name, Black Ice. Yep, it's another of those lice levels, but this time a descended one. Whoops, I forgot to jump here. No problem. I can pass through these guys easily. There's a clubber over there. And the level is all about a descendant level. And this level is much better if you play with Dixie. And I strongly recommend you do so since Dixie can glide to avoid some dangerous spots like this one with this freaking crook. And of course, we have a lot of bees. Now, at this point, I jump over this bee. Try to kill this guy. This clubber that takes out of my life. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. That usually goes much more smoother than usual, but there's a crook down there, so be careful of him. And also another crook here. Protected by a Zynga. Okay, let's jump on this piece, jump on this gap, kill this clubber and take an extra life. Okay, let's go to the right side, jump over. B to get the banana coin. I'd like to get the O and mid of the level. You can go either left or right, I prefer to go right, it's easier to me. Glide a little bit here to take out this clubber and kill that zinger. Once again go to the right side and only a few nicks. And the end is on the far right side. Let's glide. 
jump on this flitter go to the right to get access to this area with the chest it's important you find this chest and carry this chest to a point of this level because this chest is the way you have to access the bonus level of this level okay kill the clown pounds now here where you see those bees there's a cannonball inside the chest and we use this cannonball for this cannon that is a find the Pokemon. this one is pretty simple what I have to do is just jump over the bees you have a Dixie this level is a breeze just like that here's the DK coin only four more until the 40 DK coins of this game Let's jump over there's spinies. Now this is the most nerve-wracking section of this level. Have to jump over the bees. Okay, more bees to pass through. That was close, I almost hit that bee. Okay, that's the end. So let's wait to get the extra life, shall we? Like now. Good. Alright, some mistakes on the mid of the road, but until now a very smooth run on those Lost World levels, they are much harder, like I said. And there is nothing new here, I think, on the Moki Museum. Yeah, there is nothing new that he wants to say. Okay, so let's go back to Crenquay. Alright, so let's take... His flight services again. I love this music, it's so catchy and funky. So let's go to the next one, that is the Crazy Cream Land. I think this is the last one for today. Three levels in a row are good enough. Then we will finish the game uh, this next video, the last video actually. Stop right there, you scummy swabs! Step on a tow bridge and I'll throw you overboard! <laughs> okay, let's bribe this guy. Step this way, friends, I've polished the bridge just for you. It's funny, he gets all angry when, he, when you try to pass over him, but once you bribe him, he gets all friendly. And everyone has a price, folks, even the Kremlins. Alright, so let's get to the next level Call the Clubber Carnage. And as expected, we'll find a lot of clubbers on this level. Okay, banana coin right at the start of the level if you wish. Yeah, but this level is actually fun having to use the clubbers to defeat the other clubbers. It's kind of a chain reaction of clubbers. Uh, that banana is too risky to get. The same thing for that banana coin, so I'll skip them. Okay, so let's go up and jump here. You have to. Well, have Dixie for this to get the K. Okay, another clover. Now we have DD. You can get something here if you access his barrel. That is a banana coin. Whoops. Really did I do that? <laughs> yeah, I did a mistake, folks. How cool. That actually never happened to me. It was the first time, even on my practice runs, that never happened. And that's always when I'm recording that those things happen. At least we can do this again. We were at the very early stage of the level. Okay, so let's jump with Dixie over here, get the key. Dispose of this clover, switch to Didi. Get the banana coin. Okay, now a little puzzle with time at barrels. Not that bad, but must be pretty careful. Do not run out of time and blast in the wrong direction. As well. Long time we didn't see those time at barrels. The last time I think it was. I don't remember if we come in the last area. Yeah, I think that. Okay, to get those items, of course, you must have one of the Kongs to get those. Like this one have to use Didi, and the previous one have to use Dixie. Okay, 
So let's get this guy and dispose of him. Uh, there's nothing to get here with Didi, I guess. Only a DK barrel. So let's go down. Spinning barrel time. Okay. Now it's better to go with Didi here because he'll do a little shortcut to a much easier area to pass through. Okay, mid of the level. Now we'll have two clubbers up there on that cliff. The first one, the guy who takes out your lives, and the second one, the TNT guy. Okay, now this section is fun. You have to pass through this flying barrel and shot in all directions to pass through the obstacles. Most of the time, bees like this one. Yeah, it's a little puzzle section that is not that hard, but you must concentrate pretty bad if you want to do it right. Okay, now in this section with the two barrels, it's better to use Dixie because she will get to you a banana coin. It's all a matter of concentration in this area, so I won't talk too much. Though it's pretty obvious what I have to do to pass through. Get the G. Fire here and fire here. I guess you can fire in the middle of those bees to get something, but I'm not risk here. Okay, well this one has to be pretty fast, and now this is the most tedious part. The part with the bees. Okay, I <laughs> almost lost there. Almost got dead there. Okay, now I must kill this clubber and don't touch the spikes, of course. That's never good. Okay, for our luck we have Didi, but don't fire to the ending of the level, because we must get the bonus. Uh, you may ask, where's the bonus of this level? It's right here on the right. Let's fire to there. You have, you have your partner, just do a team throw, it's much easier. And this one is a destroy the all, so let's try to do this in one run. Bouncing all of those bees and using this invulnerability to our advantage. on this almost <laughs> but I did it okay let's get the extra life <laughs> I love did this ending on those lost word levels the sound seems so funny Alright, so this level is finally complete, Clubber Carnage. Let's go back to Crazy Creamland. And let's see, uh, how many banana coins did I have? Or do I have instead? Let's see if I can save my game. I have 7 banana coins, so I can save. Okay. So here's our progress. 3, three hours, 10 minutes. 30 Cran Coins, of course, we spent like 45 Cran Coins with Kalubas, that Moscow Kremlin. And only 3 DK Coins to reach 102%, so 9% to reach the true ending of this game. So let's save and get out. <clears throat> Alright, Tok, so I think that's enough for this video, so... Once we come back, we'll complete the rest of the Lost World levels, the remaining two, and then reach the final and true ending of this game on the last video of this LP. So until that video, I'm JimmyGGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.